Hello, Living Energy Lights here. Today we're going to show you how to fill out your nickel iron battery with electrolyte. This nickel iron battery is one of the components of the Iron Sun kit that sets our off-grid systems apart from conventional off-grid systems. Unlike lead acid or lithium batteries, nickel iron batteries should last you for decades, maybe even the rest of your life. We have a nickel iron battery at Living Energy Lights that's over 50 years old and is still working at around 50% capacity. Okay, I'm going to get my protective gear on and I'm going to show you how to mix up electrolyte for your nickel iron battery. The electrolyte that we're going to be mixing up today is made up of potassium hydroxide and distilled water. Potassium hydroxide is non toxic, but it is extremely caustic, similar to concentrated bleach. So do not get it on your skin and especially do not get it in your eyes. It could blind you. That's why I am wearing gloves and protective glasses. I'm even wearing glasses over my glasses. To mix your electrolyte, you'll need one immaculately clean bucket. Um, to make sure it's clean, you could first rinse it out with distilled water. Do not rinse it out with anything else. Do not use soap. Um, do not use tap water, do not use bottled water, it really has to be distilled water. So you can just pour some in here and swish it around and you can look for impurities and make sure you get everything out. If you get any kind of, um, you really want to avoid contamination through this entire process. Um, if you get a lot of contaminants into the electrolyte and then you put the electrolyte into your battery, that could harm your battery and shorten its lifespan. Today we're going to be mixing up enough electrolyte for one 10 amp hour Chorley battery. The ratio of distilled water to potassium hydroxide to make the appropriate electrolyte is 10 to 3. For one Chorley battery that we're going to be doing today, uh, we need about 1,300 grams of distilled water to 390 grams of potassium hydroxide. So first we measure out the distilled water and add it to our mixing, cu our mixing bucket. The measuring cup used for the distilled water should also be immaculately clean. You can rinse it out with distilled water the same way that I rinsed out um, the mixing bucket. So here we have our kitchen sale scale. We're going to tear the measuring cup and then we're going to add 1,300 grams of distilled water. That's about 900, so I'll add 900 first. It's a good idea to keep your bucket covered. Now I'll add the remaining 400. 1,000. 300 grams of distilled water for one 10 amp hour Chorley battery. If you're filling up two 10 amp hour Chorley batteries, if you have the 10, 20 amp hour kit, then of course um, you would double this. Here we are, getting there. Whoop. Just a tiny bit extra. Ah, pretty close. So now we have 1,300 grams of distilled water in our mixing bucket.
Now we're going to be adding our potassium hydroxide to the water we've already added to the bucket. Never ever add water to potassium hydroxide. Always add potassium hydroxide to water and also add it very, very slowly. We'll, sh we'll show you how to do that in a second. First, let's measure out how much potassium hydroxide we need. So the ratio is 10 to 3. So for uh, 1,300 grams of distilled water that we've already added, we're going to need 390 grams of potassium hydroxide. So first, let's tear our measuring cup, which is immaculately clean. pretty good okay now there's a specific way to do this mixing you want to get a spoon something like this a plastic spoon don't use a metal spoon and make sure it's clean rinse it off with distilled water like we've done for everything else uh, take your bucket and start swishing the water in one direction so the water will be moving and very slowly add the potassium hydroxide, a little bit at a time. As you add it, the water will start to heat up. So you have to do this very slowly because you don't want the water to heat up too much. So I've just added a little bit. I'm gonna mix that in and then wait until I add the next bit. I'm gonna feel the temperature. See, it's already started to heat up just a little bit. So I'm gonna cover it and wait a bit until I add um, the next batch. All right, here I go again. Just a little bit at a time. You really don't wanna don't want it to get too hot. When you're doing this, you might notice a kind of um, like fizzy sound. That's the sound of the potassium hydroxide boiling the water around it. You can feel the temperature of the bucket. It's also a good idea to do this in a well-ventilated place because the dust from this potassium hydroxide can be kind of irritating. All right, I'm gonna give it a rest and then add a bit more once it's cooled down. Uh, the next step is optional. It's to test the density of the electrolyte with the hydrometer. Um, if you followed our instructions, you, your electrolyte should be fine. But if you do have a hydrometer like this, it's uh, a good idea to check just to make sure you have the right ratio of distilled water to potassium hydroxide. So the hydrometer should read between uh, 0.19 and point, I mean 1.19 and 1.21. And it does, so we're good.
The next step is to fill your batteries. Take your clean measuring cup and fill it up with electrolyte. Open the valve and take your funnel, which you should also have cleaned with distilled water, and fill every single cell of the battery up to just below the max line. So now um, we're done mixing up our electrolyte and filling up our 10 amp hour Chorley battery. Um, this is the process you'll have to do if you get a new battery and it's dry. And you'll also have to change out the electrolyte every five to eight years. So if it's been five years and your battery is not performing like it used to, it's probably time to change out that electrolyte and go through this process all over again. Uh, that's all for now. Smash that like button and subscribe.